Okay, we're going to do a little bit of um, MIDI programming here. Let's program a simple drum beat. We're going to use MIDI Merge, Input Quantize. We're going to split some tracks up. And we're also going to change the patches on our virtual instruments so we can, you know, kind of have a really cool drum sound, too. So, uh, like we showed you in the last uh, video, let's go up here to, we'll hit uh, Event, Event Operations, Input Quantize. Now remember, it's really important to have everything quantized to a click track so we can edit it and be in time. We'll enable Input Quantize right there. Now we have an option of setting our quantize grid to whatever uh, note value or increment we want to. I'm going to leave mine at 16th note because I think I can probably pull that one off here. Okay. All right, so that looks good. Let's shut that up. As you can see over here, we've already created a click track. Remember, we went to track, create, click track. Here's the next track we'll create. We will do a new instrument track. Here's a quick key for you. Shift Command N. New track. Let's walk up here. Let's make it a stereo instrument track. We will create it and voila, there it is. Alright, I'm going to go up to insert and I'm going to insert an instrument on there. So I'll walk down here, instrument. Let's do expand. It's a really good one. It comes with all the Pro Tools. Uh, packages and it's got a lot of stuff in it. So there we go. Kind of looks like that big green thing. I'm going to hit my keyboard, see if we got any sound. And we do, but wouldn't it be nice if we had a drum sound to go with that? It's really simple. We're going to walk up here, factory default. We're going to take the drop menu and we're going to go down here, number 26, drums. I just pick a kit of some sort. Don't worry what it sounds like. We're going to fix it up a little bit later. All right. Now, I'm going to close that up. Okay, let's see what we got here. I'm going to hit the low C on my keyboard controller. And there it is, a little kick drum. The next note up at D, that will be a snare drum. And up here on the little black keys, we should have some hi-hats. Cool. Alrighty. So, let's um, let's get ready to record. Remember our quick key? Command numeric 1 opens up our transport window. Right here, this is called MIDI Merge. Alright, I am going to highlight MIDI Merge. Remember I got my click track going too at the same time here. Let's switch over to the other screen. Command equals. I'm going to close this one thing up here. Command numeric one. There we go. All right. Uh, as you can see here, we've got some little lines on our screen. Okay. Those represent the grid right here. I'm going to zoom in on that. Command bracket. See how that's zooming it in? Okay, that was the right bracket. Here's the left bracket. Going to zoom us back out, but right now let's zoom it in. Here we go. Zoom in a little bit so we can see it. Cool. Walk up here. This is called the selector tool. I'm going to select from here to here. Okay. And you know what? I'm going to, I think I'll make this a little bit bigger too so I can actually see what I'm doing. That'll make it a little more fun for us. Okay, here we go. Numeric 3 should start the ball rolling. Let's see how it does. Ah, no tracks are record enabled. Let's record enable the track first, right there. Now we should be ready to go. Let's give it a shot again. Now look at this. We're in loop playback right now. We can tell because it's right there. If you need to set loop playback, we can do it by clicking right there. That is the numeric four. I'm clicking that little guy and see right there. So it's kind of changing. Okay. All right. 
Let's go. Let's give it a shot here. I'm going to hit numeric three. That will start us it to be. We'll start us recording. Here we go. It's coming around. Let's try playing something. If I don't like this, all I have to do is go Command Z and I can get rid of it. Just like I never even started. Let's try it again. Something real simple. Here it comes. One, two, three, four. And we'll lay a snare on top of that. Now let's put a little hi hat on that. And voila, we have a little drum groove. Let's stop that guy. All right, cool. Let's go up here to track. And we are going to duplicate our track. Here we go. Cool. Number of duplicates, let's do two of them. Remember, I kept this real simple. Kick, snare, hat for our presentation. So I'm going to do it two more times. That'll give us three tracks total. Now these tracks are all playing the same thing. So what we're going to do next is we're going to rename the tracks. Let's name the first one. I'm going to double click on that. We'll call it Kick. Okay. Then let's go right here. Next, let's call this one Snare. All right. And next, let's call this one Hat. Cool. I'm going to hit OK, and look at that. Kick, snare, hat. All right. Now, I'm going to go up to my little grabber tool here, and I'm going to double-click on my kick clip. All righty. Let's zoom in on that a little bit. Command, bracket. Remember, command right bracket, zooms it in, and look at that. There's what we just played. Now, on this little keyboard, if I click right here, we should hear a kick drum. Here's what we're going to do. This is the kick track. So we are going to delete everything that's not a kick drum. I'm going to hit delete. Alrighty. Let's close that up. Let's go to the next one, our snare. Okay. There's my kick. I'm going to delete that. Right now I'm keeping just the snare. I'm deleting everything else. Okay. Let's go right here. Two clicks. And now we're going to just keep the hi-hat. Get rid of everything below that. Alrighty. Let's highlight this and see what it sounds like. Okay, now, I'm going to go to the other screen. As you can see, look, at kick, snare, hat. But let's change the uh, sound once, okay? So if I go right up here, let's go to the kick first. I'm going to go to expand. I'm going to click on that. There's our expand again. Right here. Look at that. These are all different drum patches. So if I take the down arrow, or the up arrow, or the left and right arrow, Look at that, it's changing my drum sound. Up and down arrow. Left and right arrow. Let's keep that one for now. I'm gonna hit done. Now we'll go to the next one. Here's our snare that little guy in there. Let's see what we got. Ah, that's good for now. I'm gonna hit done. Let's go for our hat. 
same thing right there. Let's go through those patches. That's good for me. I'm going to hit done. All right. Now the fun starts. If we're not having fun already, now we can start panning things. Let's take my hi-hat. Pan it over there a little bit. Turn the volume up on him. We've got a cool little drum groove. Let's close this up. I'm going to hit stop. I'm going to highlight every one of these guys. If I hold the shift key and click on them, they're all highlighted. I'm going to zoom out, command, bracket, left bracket. Now we can do one more cool little thing here. If I go command D, I can duplicate that. Let's duplicate it one, two, three times. Now, if I hit return and play, we got a cool little drum groove going. Now we can do the very same thing with any other instruments if we choose to. So uh, feel free to experiment.